I, I remember they made me cry because it was like my first time wearing BB cream. And I, I'm not going to lie, like I felt like a clown. Well, I, I thought it looked okay, but I had a lot of product and I kind of just like smothered it all over my face. And I, it was pretty troll. It was pretty troll. But then my parents were so mean about it. They're, you know, like there's a way to tell your kid, hey, I see what you're trying to do, but maybe you shouldn't be doing that. You know, you could say it in a nice way. You don't have to say like, you look ugly. <laughs> and then like yell at them and get mad at them. It's like, why are you getting mad at me on top of this? Like, you already called me ugly when I'm trying to look my best. Like, you don't have to go that far and be mad about it. Like, you could have just stopped at it with the ugly part. But you know, I get what they're coming from too. You don't want your kid getting too obsessed with stuff like that. I get it, you know, I get where they're coming from. But there's always just like a nice way of putting things. I remember I once did my eyelashes and I just really liked it. I liked, I liked wearing false lashes. And damn. And my dad normally never cares about what I look like. Like he only cares about my grades. Like, you know, anything that's related to academics or whatever. That's all he cared about. But that one time he was like... Why do you do that? Why do you go out of the way to make yourself look bad? <laughs> and I just started bawling. I was like, oh my god, that's... I did not expect this. Damn. It felt really bad. He's like, take it off. I don't know what you're doing. And I get... I get the sentiment of like, you know, natural looks good. I, I get it. I totally get it. It's like, you know, I just want to do what I want to do at the same time. You know, let me be me. I'm sorry that me, that what I want to do, and that how I want to look, like, you don't approve it. Like, yeah, I'm sorry about that. <sighs> but that shouldn't matter. <laughs> Your mom is going to call you later. It's okay. I mean, I've had talks with her about how, like, you know, you were very nice to me as a kid. <laughs> I'll be honest, you weren't the nicest to me as a kid. I once had an essay in high school, and the title was, My Home Isn't a Home. Like, I used to be a depressing kid. I'd be like, damn, write edgy stuff like that. And I'd be, and i just write about how, like, I felt like my home was just not comforting. Like, I felt like my home was where my friends were at. Like, anywhere but where I went after school. <laughs> that title was so sad. It was. And I remember I tried to bring it up to my dad, too. Or maybe I was trying to bring it up to my mom. But I tried to bring it up to one of them. And I was like, hey, this is how I'm feeling. And they're just like... And they just kind of took that as like, wow, you're making me feel bad. Why would you say that? <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, okay. My bad. You're right. It wasn't my intention to make you feel bad. It's just how I was feeling. Well, I'm now it's like it's hard when you build that kind of connection and like that barrier with your child at a young age. And then here's the thing: most of our parents now, like even with my friends, like they are so. I, won't, I don't want to say nosy, but they like want to know you more. Like they want that connection that you tried to build with them as a kid. And it's like, you can't help but have us now be kind of like, we want that distance. We don't want that kind of connection. Like why are you trying to build it now when we tried so hard as a kid, you know? And it just makes me feel bad. Because it's like, I don't want to be mean about it either, you know? I'm always super grateful to my parents. They worked a lot, you know, worked hard. <sighs> but it's just... Uh, you can't help but want... Like, I don't know. You can't help but want them to be there for you. <laughs> and sometimes I don't like how adults like to give backhanded comments. Especially in the Asian community. <sighs> it's like non-stop. They're like, oh my god. You're such a good child compared to so-and-so. And it's like, why, why do you do that? Why do you have to put others down to 
bring up others. Like, is, is that not so sad? Like, I would get so sad every time I would hear, like, comparisons. It would, like, break my heart. Like, even thinking about it right now, it's like, <sighs> I want to cry. Like, if you're disappointed in someone, or if you have negative feelings towards someone, you know, there's, like, a healthier way to bring it up. There's always a better way to discuss things. <sighs> But I get it, you know, I get it. It's not like they had that type of connection with their own parents growing up and it's hard to like do something that you're foreign to with your kids, even though to us it seems very natural and it seems like it should be very obvious, but it's not. And like, I think that's like something that we have to work on as well. It's like, hey, you know, I get that you grew up a certain way and then you can't help but like raise us a certain way like that too but we shouldn't normalize that behavior you gotta you, we gotta be understanding of each other it's really hard coming from me especially like it's really hard to be understanding of each other because i get irritated so easily and it may not seem like i am the type of person to get irritated but when it comes to my parents like it i get irritated pretty quickly and i always feel bad about it it's like damn i wish i wasn't and then i'll like apologize you know even if you can't verbalize the apology it's always good to at least like text it some form of way where it's like hey you know i get it it's hard it's difficult <sighs> we have to break the cycle Break the cycle by having no children. Ah! Hey, I'm with you on that one though. The only child I need is my little baby Nobby.